Here, so I have before me here uh, is a mechanical aperture that's electrically activated. So I want to thank a friend of mine for giving me this awesome little device here. I have it wired up as a safety aperture. So let's say something's going on and you need to emergently slam it shut to block your eyeballs for safety. Or if you have a laser or bright light coming through, it does that. I can manually reset it. It can be electrically reset as well. And I'll explain, I'll do it one more time here, how complicated activating this aperture is. So it took me a while to figure it out. If you look over on the side here, there's this little white lever that moves left to right, moving this little switch that's right here. The way this is wired or set up inside, there are two permanent magnets on each side of this little solenoid. So it's a dual acting solenoid. And there's a coil of wire around both ends and then a, basically a moving coil in essence, the way it's treated. So there, the coil of wire around the magnet here will actually counter the magnetic field to allow it to release because it's a magnetic hold. So we don't have to apply power to keep it held. And what that does is that pulls a lot of current. So as soon as the aperture or the arm moves off of that magnet, that's released. And then this coil is maintained energized to allow the moving coil to move to re to lock into this side of the magnet. And that's what gives you your, your aperture open close. And it also makes it very power efficient. So in, like I said, an emergency when it needs to slam shut, it does that very quickly because it can apply a mass amount of current to get that acceleration going. And then it's just a current current to run it across, which is really cool. So again, this is a electromechanical shutter. I believe it was used as a safety shutter, but I could be wrong, but it's pretty cool figuring out how to wire it and how it works. So I figured you guys kick out of that. Thanks for watching.